Hi, it's Ryan from Rockadog. A few weeks ago, I made a video about dogs originated in USA. In comments below this video, Jill Edmondson asked me if I can make a video about some other American dogs, especially the ones that are already extinct. And that's what this video will be about. The first breed I would talk about was named Salish Bulldog and it was a dog bred by native people in America on a place of today British Columbia and Washington State. Salish Bulldog was small long coated white spitz type of dog and they actually wasn't used for guarding, herding or even as companions but they were bred for their fur. Salish wool dogs were kept in groups of about 20 dogs on an island or fence caves because Native Americans wanted to make sure that they will not crossbreed with any other dogs. People in this area didn't have access to sheep or goats, so they needed fur of Salish wool dog, and that is why they were so valuable for them. Their fur was used as substitute for wool and for making blankets. We actually don't know much about these breeders, only few pictures of them and without DNA tests we probably wouldn't even know that they ever existed. But scientists are pretty sure why they became extinct. Their end began when Europeans came to America because they brought sheep so these dogs were not that valuable anymore. And the second cause was that they just killed a lot of indigenous population and dogs died with them. The second breed I will talk about was named Her Indian Dog. It was much more popular breed than Salish Wool Dog and he lived in Canada and Northern USA, mostly around the Great Bear Lake, Lake Winnipeg and Lake Superior. He got his name after Her Indian tribe that lived in this area. They were used for hunting by sight and they were very fast. This breed was probably developed by breeding Tahitian dogs with Viking dogs. Hair Indian Dog was small to medium sized breed, something between Fox and Coyote. They had slender body and thick coat in white color with black or brown patterns. We can be 100% sure about their temperament because obviously they are not alive today. But from what we know, these dogs were affectionate, playful, loving and they were good with strangers. They almost never barked but they were known for howling a lot. These dogs were very popular especially in 18th century when they spread to almost every north region of North America. But after invention of firearm weapons they were not needed as much as they used to because hunting became easier and their numbers became declining and their original bloodline became more and more rare. They actually didn't extinct, it's better to say that they lost their breed identity because of interbreeding with other dogs, mainly with Newfoundland dog. Since the end of 19th century this breed is considered as extinct. The last third breed I will talk about is Hawaiian Poi Dog. Today people in Hawaii refer to any mixed dog as Poi Dog, but they have nothing to do with original Hawaiian Poi Dog that has been extinct since the beginning of 20th century. They got this name because they were fed on Poi Diet, which was traditional Hawaiian diet made from taro. Based on reports, these dogs were very slow and lazy but also friendly and barked only rarely. They loved to play with kids but they were pretty sluggish so they couldn't play with them for a long time. Hawaiian Poi Dog was short like long dog with body similar to Corgi and they had short coat. It's reported that they were very fat but it's also because they were fattened by people in which they lived for and eaten by them afterwards. These dogs came to Hawaii probably around 6th century with first Polynesian settlers and they are descendants of Polynesian dogs. And because there was no need to have hunting or herding dog on Hawaii islands because there was no animals to hunt and no predators for domestic animals. These dogs were kept for mostly two reasons, as a food and companions. 
There was also cultural reason why native people kept this dog. They were given to kids as a gift and they should be their companion through their life. If dog died before child, they would pull out their teeth and make necklace for child so the dog soul can protect him. But if child died before a dog, then Hawaiians would kill the dog and bury him with child to protect child's spirit. Hawaiian boy dog also extinct because the arrival of European discoverers. Christianity slowly replaced native religion and Hawaiian boy dog suddenly didn't have his cultural reason for Hawaiian people. Europeans also brought dogs from their homeland that were more intelligent and trainable, but also they were larger and stronger. Europeans also didn't see any benefits or ha of Hawaiian boy dog, so they didn't care about him at all. European dogs began to regularly interbreed with Hawaiian boy dog and it began to lose its genetic uniqueness. It's believed that they became completely extinct in 1930s. So what do you think about these Native American dogs? It's pretty hard to find relevant information on extinct dog breeds, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to this channel. You can also check our social media links in description. See you in the next video.